And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. The last time we um, took on a few more hero quests, including one that has taken us to a place called the Lost Colony, which is about to get attacked by Consul. Uh, we have sent a barely functional Levness, uh, barely functional Feralness rather, uh, in their direction which had somehow uh, gathered up just a tiny bit of flame clock. We which is probably the what they, uh, they were cluing in on. Where are you taking me right now, game? Oh, okay. But basically toward the main entrance, I think. Is it the main? Well, I don't know. Is this this entrance, like anyway. What if I was just called Magitech Core? I guess it's not spelled the same, so it's not the same sort of Magitech core as Final Fantasy VI. So now that we no longer have 99 ether canisters, let's uh, work on that. Queen's Oath, that thing looked knackered. Hope it doesn't just stop there. If it does, we'll just need Riku to give it another little tune-up. So where did it run off to? I think we can probably just take this, uh... Yeah, this time I'm not gonna end up taking the wrong landmark. really is an idiot. While those Peronises are busy fighting, we'll move in from behind. We'll hit them where it will hurt them the most. A console. Got it. The Tyon is issuing a console command. Let's go beat some sense into that dumb Mobius face. We'll take him down for sure. Also, there was like a message that popped up. Let's get away from the Ferranus. Figured I'd pop that up since that's not going to appear anymore. All right, jerk. Let's go time. Ah, it's you lot. Wait, is this a trap? Sorry about that, mate. Turns out you had a bit of a brain fart. Nice one. <laughs> ah! Impossible. Could I really have been fooled by these peons? My mighty self. Ridiculous! Not a chance! This just isn't happening! This guy's in serious denial. Anyhow, looks like he's genuinely clueless about Nimue and the others. 
promise us you'll turn around and go back the way you came. And we will let you go. Give a message to your master, if you even have any. Tell them exactly how you fell into our trap. What? You think I'm some lonely errand boy? Stop your messages. I'm all about the screaming. And I will enjoy yours before the day is through. That's why I am Mobius. Why are they all so gross? I will never turn back. I will get through. I will fill this body with the echoes of your dying screams. No, I'm pretty sure you're going to be the one doing the dying, but... It is way too easy for me to draw aggro as uh, a Spencer. Ooh, that's, that's getting a little rough. Senna. I'm gonna hit that chain attack as soon as I can, as long as everyone's involved. Probably shouldn't have the one who has a uh, bad aggro doing the attacks right now. This one isn't going so well. Should probably just hit you right now. I don't think I'm gonna get another one after this. Ah, man. It's just barely over. Should have done in the opposite order. Then, uh, then I would have hit. I would have had uh, point limit. Then I would have been able to get a draw.
not bad. Could have done with an amazing, but uh, you can only do so much. So that didn't even hit his enrage. And now Tyon's down. I feel like I might be able to actually do another chain attack this fight. But it just tends to be how Mobius goes, even if I'm 10 levels over. It's still going to be a tough fight. It probably also isn't helping the fact that um, I only have the one tank. I also can't switch. Oh, jeez. Mio and Noah, y'all need to come out of. Yeah. Okay, Senna, let's go. Cal could be drunk, yes indeed. Yeah, another chain attack, let's go. Draw much as seven. All right. I was wondering what was going on if you, with your attack power, but uh, that explains it. Oh, you came back too. a front attack, so that's pretty good to me. Senna and Senna's not an option, so right. I'm pretty good though. I'm probably fit another one. Healer for point limit. And 
and finish it off. Another Bravo. I'm gonna need Neo or Senna to show off. And I'm pretty sure one of them is guaranteed to. Both of them did. Um, let's go with Senna. In which order do I want to do this? Probably not the most optimal solution, but hey. Ah, three points away. Perfectly fine. Our next move will be the Ouroboros attack, which should finish off Mobius in the year. This. Seems good to me. Overkill. Excellent. 209%. Time to get rid of you. Sorry for creep. Okay, now Riku. Understanding. Pretty much stands to reason that a Pharaonis would have um, a self destruct method. Now that was an explosion. What the spark did you do? Friend, want to know? Don't know. Will it take long? Explaining principles take half a day. Then I'll pass. Well, whatever the snap happened. It all went down a treat. If I was a Mobius, I'd at least try to check the situation before going all in. Seriously, what a total dingus. Anyway, we got the best possible outcome. Amazing. Tyon, I saw everything. The way you fought. Do you spend every day battling like this? Gladly, yes. Huh? We need the people of your colony to protect this place. It's true, there are times when our fight takes a toll on us. But we carry on that fight, because we have a mission. A mission? The foe we fought today. Mobius, who made this world the way it is. We have to take it back from them. We have to make a new world. One without fighting, where you won't have to hide away in fear. Tyon. But 
Sometimes we do need rest to forget fighting for a time. This place could be our refuge. I understand. Then we'll protect this land so that whenever you grow tired of your fight, you can return here to rest. Thank you. to win there's someone I want you to meet someday bus complete Side story tie-on. Taking on Izzard's request, Tyon and the party protected Nimue's home colony from Mobius. So that breaks the rank limit for Tactician, which can now reach a level 20. Uh, so we have one more hero quest to deal with, and that's going to be the one with Kamurabi. Colony relations got updated. So back over to Colony Omega we go. Still think it should have been named Colony, Colony Omega Zero, updated. but yeah. Indeed, heading to the city. Wherever the city is now, anyway. I'm glad at the very least that it wasn't obliterated. Because that's definitely a thing that could have happened. on the surface of a lake. I am a stone warming in the sun. I am the clouds on a windless day. I am the reed that bends but does not break. You can relax. We've landed now. Guess he didn't like heights after all. Funny, considering how gung ho he was riding around in his Faronis. Yeah, okay, but I don't think we should talk about the past in front of him. He's just been born, and in a tenth term body. I'm sure he just wants to focus on the here and now. What are you smirking at? I'll just 
You're a genuine good egg, Uni. Huh? Where did that come from? Hey there! Hey, Travis. Man, am I glad to see you guys. Something terrible's happened. You won't believe it. Oh, but no word of it to the boss lady, yeah? My salary's on the line here. That's a corker of a preamble, mate. You gonna actually tell us what's going on? Somebody opened one of the cradles. You think it was an intruder? I don't know, but there weren't any obvious signs of it. The soldier inside has gone missing as well. Someone you knew, I gather. It's a... Uh... Oh, come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know, what's her name? Uh, with the silver hair. No way. Ethel. That's it, Ethel. Oh, why is all this happening on my watch? Oh, never mind. Now's not the time for reflection. If such is the situation... I shall assist as well. Where shall we look? What? Um, we were just... surprised... that you were so... uh... concerned. Uh, I am also recently of a cradle born. It may be some kind of fate at work. This soldier named Ethel, she may also find herself at a loss. So he didn't actually remember. And also, you, good sir. Huh? Me? You must be frightfully exhausted. Do not push yourself, please. Hey, watch it, fella. I know I'm no spring chicken, but there's no need to rub it in. Sorry, mate, he's just been born. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean anything bad by it. Anyway, moving along. Movement in and out of the city is strictly regulated. So if there weren't any incidents reported so far, both the perp and Ethel must still be somewhere inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's first search for clues in the module warehouse. Good luck to you, whippersnappers. In the meantime, we'll take custody of the friends you contacted us about. They're called Mwamba and Hacked. What's gonna happen to them? They're not quite back to themselves yet, right? We'll give them a checkup, make sure they're all there. And after that, well, keep them under observation, I suppose. Either way, you can leave them with us. We leave them in your able hands, then? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. They'll be safe as houses. I'll be in the war room. Keep me abreast of any developments. I'm pretty sure they're not houses, they're people. You know, like you and me. Uh. High places sap my resolve. All oh, right. Well, I mean, it sort of makes sense. Goodness. And considering that the entire city just kind of moved. Stands to reason that uh, some damage occurred. Yabby. Do how you doing? Why are you always dying? Dying is not good for your health. Looks like there's still ground to cover. So where are we now anyway? In terms of the city, I mean. I don't think a landmark is actually going to help us. I think I'm just going to have to run there. Dang it. Yes, indeed.
Some people just need a wee nip and a wee nap. Just ask Scotty. I mean, to be fair, we did nothing to, um, we did nothing to endanger the city. It was friggin' Shania the entire time. Huh, I guess I never got this, uh, this area. Well, it really is empty. It's definitely Ethel's module. But why would anyone want her? If we want to know that, we just got to catch him. And what do you know? They left us a clue. Nice of them. There's footprints all over the place. They seem to be in a rush. They're not Ethel's, are they? But then whose? We only have to follow them to find out. They can't have gone too far. Let's get going. Walking around with dirty feet. Ugh, disgraceful. I think that's probably the least of their issues. <laughs> also, I hadn't realized that I was muted while that cutscene was happening before. And it was like one of the uh one of the cradles was opened but it's ethel right. it's it's gonna be ethel right and then they went on this is silver haired one can't remember her name. yeah that's ethel so this is how we get ethel back probably and also get kamaravi as a bonus Come looking for naughty boy QBB. QBB never meant to do any harm. QBB just. just wants to enjoy a game of ultimate hide and seek. A hide and seek? What is that? Pretty much it's what it sounds like. It's a pastime of daringly go and hide when not allowed to go. Daringly? Defying a prohibition? Mm -hmm. QBB, please asking to not make scary face. So why did you open the cradle then? When get on panel, it opened by self. And when it opened, go wake up. QBB, really, truly sorry. <laughs> we get it now, so wipe your tears. Look, you're getting your tummy wet. And what happened afterwards? Did you go somewhere with the Awoken Soldier? QBB gets scared and flees from scene of hide. But can tell Morley or Leslie where she go. QBB think it direction of Centrillo Parade. I am the morning mist in a pine grove. I am Mithrice, growing across seasons. I am Darkwing Duck! Friend okay? Don't mind him, he's just, uh, trying to maintain his cool. I updated Travis on the situation. He says he's coming to collect QBB. Is QBB in 
serious troubles. I don't expect him to be too severe, but you will need to do some repenting. Let's leave QBB in Travis's hands and go track down Ethel. She looks quite distinctive. Someone on Centrillo Parade should have noticed her. You are right. Yes, let us go. We got new folks on the map. Okay, I probably can actually. There we go. Don't need to run all that way. Ethel! <gasps> I barely caught you in time. You're not hurt. Mm. I think I know you. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I just can't see. Anyway. Kamaravi. Yes. You're smoldering Kamaravi. Ethel, you recognize him? I have to go somewhere? I have to. But why? Take it easy. Let's take our time, yeah? We'll help you look. No problem. Mm. Now comes the tricky part. What do we do from here? What can we do except foster her in the city? A first term, there won't be any use in a fight. Do you find that acceptable? I don't know. I have a proposal. Would you leave her with me for a while? Wait, you're saying you want to look after Ethel? Just until she settles on her own path. I want her to have that freedom. And I don't know why, but I feel it strongly. For now, let's see what Travis thinks. As the city's concerned, too, we shouldn't decide alone. Travis, I fear we will wear him out again. It's not fatigue that that guy struggles with. You know what? Forget it. Maybe just don't say that to him, yeah? He's kind of touchy about it. I understand. I will mind my ways around him. Well, this certainly took an unexpected turn. We can't allow the loss to founder. Allow me to take charge. So I'm guessing that... Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting the... Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, he found a thing, all right. Ah, uh, there's just some people. Definitely a jeweled pebble. Find this on your own. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, it's not like you're much of a soldier. It's 
you would not have needed our help if you were, you know, an actual soldier. I don't know if you're really the kind of person the Lost Numbers needs. Guess not, Uni. Well, we did complete the quest by complete accident of stumbling upon this group. Romero and Julieta, complete. Be all too honest, Romero couldn't get permission to marry his sweetheart. The poor lovers remain star-crossed, burdened by their noble status. Did we properly actually, like, liberate Kevis Castle? I don't think we did. Like, we didn't actually break the flame clock of the city. Uh, of the castle, rather. Anyway, what I was going to say before running into that, um, that quest location is I'm pretty, like, I, I, the, the sense that I'm getting from the fact that Ethel could remember Kamurabi is that there's some, uh, portion of the process of onboarding at Kevis Magnus Castles, which ensures that the person in question is not going to be able to remember their previous life. Because, like, Yuni didn't remember anything about the fact that she had died in a gold colony until she found her former self, like the husk of the person who had previously died. Whereas uh, Ethel remembered Kamravi right away. Maybe didn't remember how she remembers Kamravi. But did definitely remember Kamravi. Actually, is there a. Uh... Do I need to go to the war room? Travis, I'm pretty sure he's in the world. Yep, he's in need. Ah, well, I guess I mostly understand. Are you sure you can handle child rearing? Child rearing? What is that? <laughs> In a nutshell, I'm asking if you're capable of taking responsibility for the proper upbringing of this little princess. I'm not princess. My name is Ethel. <laughs> Too precious. If you would consent to it, I will serve for the good of the city. I am sure I have my blind spots, but I always complete the duties assigned to me. I'll help too. Uh, but you cannot fight. <laughs> I can be your eyes. Like she can't. I can see that which you cannot. No? By the flames. Spirited, isn't she? Oh yeah, too spirited, I'd say. Look, let me bend your ear a little. You don't think it's going to work? It's not really my position to think anything. Right. Well, I'll try talking to Monica then. Oh, okay, fine, 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 I, I get it. Uh, let's do this. 
I'll take care of Ethel, and instead we'll have Kamaravi help out on the combat side. That'll be perfect, don't you think? Hey? Hey? You're that scared of Monica? Oh, I'm scared, all right. But I'm not just trying to cover it up from sheer terror, okay? It's just that woman takes on way more than she should. I bet she doesn't know how to take it easy. So I figured, you know, I'd lighten her load by doing this much, at least. Your warrior's way is unimpeachable, sir. I will never forget your kindness. Be sure, the debt will be repaid. Oh, yeah? Well, make it hundredfold, then. Don't get greedy, Trav. Oh, we're doing nicknames now. How about we start with Lieutenant Travis and go from there, eh? I am deeply indebted to you all as well. Don't swell it. No, this is truly a grave debt. Especially... Tyon. You said I should live true to myself. I haven't discovered exactly what that means yet. But now I understand what you meant, at least. And am grateful to you for setting me on the right path. You were the source of the spark that set my flame alight. Thank you. Um... Tyon, he's talking to you. <laughs> I know. I just never in my life thought I would be on the receiving end of this kind of speech. The future. Really, it is a foreign country. Huh. I suppose it is. I'm sure in time you and Ethel will find it. The right path. The right code to live by. Yes. Until such time, I, Kamuravi, remain ready to do battle for the city. And for you as well. Quest complete. A twist of fate. After so many twists and turns, Ethel and Kamuravi decided to live on and survive together. Perhaps this is fate at work. Of course, that means we have unlocked. I have a close eye. Seraph Kamravi and the Class Inheritor. I would have to guess from that conversation, maybe Tyon? Sure is. So, Kamravi's class, Class Seraph, Roll Attacker, becomes more powerful with each hit taken, uses self damaging arts to maintain high attack power. Some relationships changed. Interesting. So, Jewel, the short version is, and it's not going to be all that short because there's a lot that happens in this game, as I'm sure you know. So, Ethel and Kamravi were hired by Kevis Castle in order to try to destroy oh, Ouro Ouroboros. They were kind of forced into it. Uh, but after a fight between our team and uh, the two of them in super-powered Levnuses, of course we won. But uh, rather than uh, conceding there, they kind of ended up settling their own score against each other. And uh, so they kind of dealt finishing blows to each other and both of them died. Um, now, Kamaravi was resurrected by Consul Y, who uh, over at uh, Colony Omega, who was kind of doing some weird experiments and crap. Uh, meanwhile, um, Ethel uh, was not resurrected by anyone, but she, like, like everyone else in this world, uh, she did have a clone ready to go in one of the cradles. And um, a Nopon just kind of randomly ended up opening that cradle. And so now we have a new Ethel who kind of remembers a little bit, but doesn't really because, like, for all intents and purposes, she is now a brand new, like, first day on the job, first term. I'm sure, I'm sure, Lens, you can master the art of using an elevator. 
Now we just hang about. <sighs> More or less, yeah, Jewel. Although I wouldn't be surprised if there is another hero quest somewhere. Oh, you guys are best buds now. That's nice. Actually, one thing that I did notice, like, shall we, shall we stop by and check on Travis? Like, we were just down there. But at the same time, there's a quest down here that is at this level. Yeah, it is actually Travis again. Mobius is most wanted on me, I guess. No, what are you doing all the way over there? So what you're saying is, the older you get, the more you lean to the right. Which, I don't really like that idea, but whatever. Now we just hang about. <sighs> now there's another question mark over there. See if we can find where that is. It's probably around here somewhere. The remembrance stones, was it? Place to still the hearts, so I'm told. That's right. It's a place to honor the dead and to look deep inside yourself. What do you see deep inside? Why are you dying, ma'am? Oh dear, maybe you are dying. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, this isn't a combat injury. I am gonna go ahead and take care of this one. I like this place. It has an aura of calm about it. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. I feel the same actually. You have a lot to say there, Kamaragi. During quests, make sure this one random person doesn't die in your hands. I mean, my understanding is that uh, the city is actually, like, underground at this point. So there has been, like, a massive change of... Um, of altitude, which can definitely mess with some people. That was this guy again. Basically, under pressure. Do, 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 
Some relationships changed. Oh wow, not even close. Um, change of plans. We do not have any um hero quests on the go. How about here instead? So I think let's make a little bit of progress on the main story quest. Just at least, at least we can say we've uh, we've gotten a little bit closer to the end of the game today because we've been doing hero quests all session. Look at that camera off you go. This was Colony Omega, by the way. A lot of weird crap happened there, and Neo and Senna have been here before. Neo, I'm glad we were able to save you. Yes. Thanks so much, everyone. Next stop, the Cloud Keep. This hey, if we're being real here. Is it Ether? If we're being real here, it's uh, we didn't so much save Neo as Console M did by pretty much giving up her own life. I really don't like how easy it is for um, for Lance to draw aggro. Ow. Like, I want to do damage, but uh, that's not working out so well for me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that's gonna be a little too far out of our way. Is that a supply drop? I think we're about halfway to the summit. We've just gotta stick it out a little longer then. I don't need to fight troops, I would rather just avoid it. Psst. Said psst. What's up? So um You've got M's memories. Uni, why are we whispering? Roll with it. I do, yeah. Why, though? So tell me stuff. Tell you what stuff? Stuff about the Queen and Mobius. Anything you got. But like what exactly? Like how the two are connected? Any secrets? He needs to be in a gossip where they are? Oi, no giving out exclusives. <laughs> Lance. We want to know this stuff too, right? Well, I suppose. But still. Yeah, I trust Mimi. If it was important, 
I'm sure she'd tell us everything. And since she's not saying, there's a reason, right? Mm. If it's about the Queen, you shouldn't hear it from me, but rather from Her Majesty herself, I think. The Queen's bound to know things that M didn't. Oh, so that's it then? You're just gonna pass the buck? Well, I suppose so. Feels a bit stingy, that's all. You only said that. Hey, no crumbling. I'm in the same levelness as you, okay? All right, all right, I'll yield. Might as well save my appetite for the main course. It's a weird way to say I'm in the same boat. I'm sure you have boats. Boats that aren't levenesses. Oh, good thing we found this. There's a container over there. Come on, don't fail me this now. Gotta be worth a bunch. Nice fine. I really should go and spend my map on coins. Ooh. Not long now. Hang in there. Well, sixty one. Yikes. Well, nothing for it. Let's just give it a try. So I got a wacken. I can do that. Hmm. I think I want a second tank, actually. And you know, come on out here. Notice this guy here. Let's get rid of you. Taking quite a beating considering you're a level 53 normal. Oh, you're also getting healed. Didn't notice that until right up at the end there. So that's gotta be something to watch for. If, uh... What does that mean? Phenos, I guess? What's your thing again? And here completes an order, adds 30 TP of the character with the least TP and reactivates them. Okay. I definitely need some heals out here. Be back attack? Not sure. Oh crap, I forgot to finish that with Eno. Oh. 
Next one I can finish. Ah, oh, and it reactivated her too. Mmm, that's not great. Okay, that uni, so Tyon is now an Ouroboros order. Let's go with Noah. I'm trying to pull off of uh Who's got aggro? Who's got aggro? And now you know should be a guaranteed complete. Now we're going to need a Neo or I think the other one was Uni. Alright, the other one was Tie On. Tyon is my only option for now. Over. Let's go I think the correct order here is going to be to do Lens, Neo. This thing got quite a few H. Well, it is a unique after all. Can we actually draw you, like... Okay. At the very least, that red line's starting to break. Uh, so we don't need to finish with Eno this time. I think what I'm gonna do is start with you. That's a good thing I did because I was about to go with uh, with lands here, but uh, that's going to exceed, and I don't want to do that right away. So I'm gonna go with my two healers, the two extra attacks. That are guaranteed not to exceed. And then highest TP is you. I'm pretty sure this guy is going to go down about as hard as uh, as that Mobius. Is it Mobius and I think it was? Uh, the big difference, of course, is going to be that uh, this guy doesn't have nearly as much um, attack potency as an obvious. The fire can But there is a non-zero chance of being able to do another chain attack during this fight again. And that goes Senna. And Noah took one for his team. Oh jeez, and that's me! Ow. Dead. I'm Tangerine. Mm. 
I'm not gonna be able to get that super. So better off to just cancel and uh, be able to enter length again sooner if I need to. Now it hits like a truck, yeah. Uh, it because if you notice, like there's a. Uh, there's like a flame in the middle of uh, most major enemies. Ah, crap! Tyon went down just at the end there. Ah, that sucks. But yeah, uh, like you see now at this point, the entire health bar is on fire so once you get down to like half health um, the enemy will enrage basically and there is a class I forget which one it is but there is a class that can actually cancel the enrage I mean, I guess. I've never played Final Fantasy XII, so I can't answer that question. Like getting Eno uh, to do her... Uh, chain order first is probably the best idea because now we have a damage uh, ratio of 515%. But the problem is since Tyon went down just before I hit my uh, my chain my chain attack, that means he's not part of the chain attack. Which really sucks. I really need Lance to show up here. He did. And he also was reactivated with more than enough TP to actually get this over. Overkill! Thank you. Now we can still keep going for the, because uh, you see, the more damage I, I deal brings up the experience bonus. And also amazing, which will bring up the damage uh, ratio by a huge amount, allowing us to bring the experience bonus up even faster. Will we get will we get to 400? I don't think we'll get to 400. 389, though, pretty good. And the soul hack. So now let us turn you back into Flash Fencer. I can do that. Huh? This is new. 
Altar of Reception. So I guess this is where the key goes. Glad I made this journey. There's nothing special here. Friends, shall we come to right place? Y'all aren't looking at the uh, podium over there? You'll see. Is this the castle from Frozen? Is this real? That's the Cloud King. Whoa! Not a rare dude out of here. Bit of tech. Amazing how they kept it hidden. This feels very end gamey, but I know it's not the end of the game just so is yet. Is this where the queen's been sleeping then? Yes. Right at the very top. Right. Let's move. Not far now. A few more stairs. We might finally discover the way to free the world. End Mobius's reign. I wonder what's around here. I wonder what's around here, he says. After just having said, this is where we find the answer. It's been one revelation after another these days, and now here we are, walking through thin air like it's totally normal. Watch your step. It's a long way down. This is the Cloud King. It's suddenly lavish. Actually, I've been kind of waiting for this. Get a load of this place. Do you think the Queen's really here? If you fall off, you're on your own. No, no kidding. But, um. Do you think we'll be able to meet the real Queen soon? I'm feeling kind of tense. Yeah, me too, thanks. Because the game has been strongly hinting at the identity of the true queen. And I really want to know how they're going to explain this. What? I'm meeting Her Majesty the Queen. Who wouldn't be nervous right now? You you doing okay there there uh uni? Practicing your walking in place so you can show the queen. We're here. Yes.
Holy crap, it is her. She's really pretty. It's her. That's the real Queen of Agnes. She's sleeping and not dead, right? Don't worry. She'll awake soon enough. <laughs> what are you doing in this game? She's up. Uh, what? What? Your Majesty! She's been killed! <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know. She's just been Sephiroth to death. Delicious. I can taste your despair already. I'm afraid you won't get your way. We worked hard to make this world ours. No way that we'll relinquish it now. Yoren! You rats! How'd you find us? I don't get your surprise. That one's still half Mobius. You didn't seriously think we'd lose her, did you? Or did you think you're all that just because you managed to defeat N? Well, thanks to you, I got to end that aggravating old bat, fulfilling Zed's orders in the process. Looks like we got played. Yorin, are you seriously... Seriously what? Teaming up with this creep. You've killed her! Wasn't that clear? You know I am Mobius. I was reborn, and on that day, Jay surpassed you all. That day? Right. Then tell me. Why did you do it? Trade your life for mine? You could have ignored me, got away safe. Well, Chi, I have no idea. Hmm. Let's see, there might be something in one of my memories. Maybe if I die instead of him, I'll please him? Perhaps that's what I was thinking. One of your memories. Since I couldn't do anything else right, you know? Must be nice to be you, Lance. Just being yourself. Nice to be me. You couldn't fathom how hard it is to be useless. You'd never understand. Unless you'd seen yourself in that light. Oh, here's a thought. How about you try interlinking with me for a lark? I bet you'll cry at the state of me. Fun fact, you know. When you become Mobius, you're treated to all the memories of your past lives. I got to see all the different me's. Although they all pretty much met the same sad end. Dead weight will always be that. I am nothing but myself. <laughs> Those were all just coincidences. We know different. That's right. We thought. No, I knew for sure that you were awesome. Whatever. Bet you were well and truly fed up with me. Although, back on that day, I still managed to surpass you. I can still be here, feel this rush. And now, I'm having the time of my life. So, usually I would not go into spoilers, but because of the amount of information that has already been presented in the game, compared to the ease of the information from the source material, I am just going to straight up say it, the Queen of Agnes was Nia, who is a character 
who is one of the main characters from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Did I not say focus attacks? Come on, guys. I also bring back a character from a previous game so they can do nothing on screen but die. Uh, well, she has shown up uh, earlier in the game in like other scenes, but we never saw her face. This was the first time we got a solid, like, undeniable look at her face. And then she, like I said, she got stuff wrong to death. I would have preferred Tyon and Uni, but that's not going to end up being an option, is it? Alright. I hope this makes it. It does, all right. Yeah, I'm straight up just not gonna get tired anymore. <laughs> Whether I'm going to be able to get another order off here is going to be kind of a crapshoot. It, it depends on who gets reactivated. Hmm, that might not be enough. Uh, so I have Noah and Lands as options. I think I'll do that. This is awful close if it even gets there. It's, it's not gonna get there. I need 16. I need 69 points and I got 65. Crap. Yeah. 
If we can get one of them down, we should have a much easier time getting uh, dealing with the other one. Mobius puppet gun. Alright, Uni needs to come back up before I actually. It also, sends up 1 HP. Bring her back up too. There we go. I'm told you won't escape when you beat him. That's. That's never how Mobius works. Ever, ever. Why did you attack during... Uh, he, mu he must have started attacking uh, just before I hit the uh, chain attack. Fortunately, even if that had been a lethal blow, uh, my characters cannot be... Uh, knock down during a chain attack. They just bring their health down to one. is not going down. At all. Okay, it kind of is at this point, but barely at all. I don't think no will be in there. Reactivate a healer, sure. Alright. Uh, it doesn't matter because all I got is a healer, and healer is going to point limit no matter what. to get a smash and that's not nothing. Oh, uh, Lance is 
down though. That's me out of the fight. There we go. Temporary, you know. Probably gonna need that third chain attack in one fight. Especially considering the fact that we're about to go into overtime here. And she reactivates herself. All right. We got tie on, so Uni would be in our boss order. So I have Noah or Muni, and Muni's not here, so Noah is. I'm definitely not getting an amazing here, but uh, I could have, uh, I could have at least gotten a Bravo. But unfortunately, the one character with 65 TP is Neo, and that's going to that's going to do exactly that. Um, well, we got overkill, though. That is the end of the fight. Or it's not the end. Sure, I mean either way. Reactivate uh, Neo again. Uh, this should not exceed. Oh, it might. Yeah, frick. Single handed. Well, not like it matters. This fight's over. It would have just been nice to have uh, at least a little bit more experience bonus. Look, we just got 399. One away from 400. Alright, assholes. Must be nice to be strong like you guys. And me? I was just a worm crawling in the dirt. But what I wanted was to fly. With every single new day I looked up to admire the birds freewheeling above. But I was a worm. Yorvan, cut the crap. The stuff you guys said was like if those birds went... 
But Mr. Worm, you do such great work tilling the soil. It's really important you keep at it for the sake of the world, you know? Do you see what I'm trying to say? And what's so wrong about that? I wanted my wings, you bastard! I thought if only I could earn your approval, it'd be like an updraft I could soar on! But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lonely worm feels? <laughs> you just want Senpai You're to notice you. Just how could you possibly think like that? You wanted approval, so you... How could I not? That's why I became Mobius. So I could be what I always aspired to be. What? This is you? It looks nothing like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, that's what I want to end up like someday. <laughs> Silly, huh? Liar! If you think you're satisfied being this way, you're lying to no one but yourself. I know you can't be at peace with this, so drop the act! <sighs> and yeah, maybe to you we were like birds. But that has nothing to do with strength. Only lack of choice. Lack of choice? Just look at how the world is for us. It wouldn't... It would never allow us to take any other form. So we have to change it. For weak people like us. Weak? You're weak. <laughs> On that day, weren't you smiling? Oh yes, I sure was smiling. Because it was the moment I rose above you. It was a grin of victory! No, it wasn't. On that day, you... That was the real you! Our friend, Joran. Stop mocking me! Or not? Look, you'd made it, Joran. You spread your true wings. <sighs> Joran. You're dead. It changed me. Fighting isn't everything. I learned that if I chose, I could change myself, become anything. Yaren, I'm grateful as spark to you. Ain't you the same, Yaren? Maybe if you had the choice too, in a world where nothing has to be like this. And that's exactly the kind of world we want to create. We want choices. Remember your Mobius. You should have other nice memories as well. You have to try and remember them. Anything at all. <laughs> I... I've seen all kinds of death. Taken a long, hard look at myself. So let me tell you. You're an... You're... You're more than this. Yoren, you've given me so much. You helped me find the will to endure these ten hard years. Come to us, please, Yoren. Let's all stand together. You don't belong with them. You just don't. Was that also me? That day, it was like my body just moved. You're getting carried away there. Ugh, what a loser. You good for nothing shit for brains. Damn. Yeah. Oh, we're not done, are we? Piece of 
to work. D. You scum. Ever had dreams. Dreams of dying. Of being slaughtered. <sighs> oh, well. Most people forget as soon as they wake. No harm done. But tell you what. They're all completely true. And so snuff them what? What if they were? The past is past, and the present is now. I wasn't finished. Dreams, you see. They're little traces of intense memories from your past lives that didn't get purged before rebirth. Little harmless bugs in the system, let's call them. However, not so with Mobius. Just like the run said, when you become Mobius, in that very moment, all your past memories come rushing back to you. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen, too. I just kill everyone. Go back to camp and kill them, too. I think there might be something wrong with this man. I just get that inclination, you know? To put it mildly, it's... It's transcendent. Before coming here, I went to visit the Ferranis, where I keep my collection. Collection, you say? to my collection. We really have to do this now. I should have stopped streaming 13 minutes ago.
My babies, I love to be in rude at that time. Yeah, it wouldn't be so bad if this was just kind of, yeah, break time, but no. This is just, I gotta finish this guy in order to probably get another like 10 minutes of expo of exposition and then be able to save him through. Died again. I mean, I guess it is also kind of to be expected with a monolith game because it's right in the name. It's a monolith of a game with monoliths of cutscenes in them. But uh, may as well throw a guy in there. And uh, finish with a break. I love that she's actually able to reactivate herself. Provided that she has like the least amount of uh, of TP. Hmm. I'm gonna take a gamble here. If I can get just a few more points. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. That's exactly what I wanted. Bravo! It's gonna be double reactivation. Including Ina again. Um... I kind of want to see if I can get tired on me. Also, I want to get another, uh, another Bravo. So who's getting reactivated this time? So this time we got Yuni getting the bonus. Unfortunately, Eno is not back, but uh, that's perfectly fine. Wow. Um, I want Ty on Yuni. Uh, actually, no. Do I want Ty on Yuni? Yeah, let's go for Ty on Yuni. I'm going to start off with Ty on No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to end with Tyon. God damn it. Uh, 
I, for I immediately forgot what I wanted to do because of course I did. Look at that beautiful damage multiplier though. How dare you call me a Q run in the middle of the uh, chain attack. I'll get the three, the three, get the two healers out here. And then we should hopefully be able to finish this with an amazing. Yeah! 1360% damage. And it's still not gonna get down to, uh, to the flame there, is it? Either that or just gonna barely make it. No, it didn't make it. 1.28 million. They're probably gonna end up with another turn of time, right? I'm gonna cancel and use my smash. Boom! Oh, that gives me my chain attack. Excellent. Oh, now I remember what cancels uh, Enrage. Uh, it is Burst. Which I forget what I think it's uh, break, topple, days burst is what it, is what does it. So if you can manage that combination, uh, you can cancel the enrage. It's a lot like Ducks Unlimited, except it's Eno. You know. That makes absolutely no sense and I'm fine with that. Oh, he is... Excellent. He's drawn Lucky 7, so that's gonna be extra damage too. Hoping you know it reactivate, but no. Uh, Senna means lands. I'm not gonna risk it.
still got some way to go here. Oh! That smarts. Fortunately, Neo is still up. Mostly due to the fact that she was, uh. She was in our boss form, so. Oh crap. The least that I can do right now is draw damage away from. Why did I receive a heal for zero? I did see kind of an aura around me that was probably preventing healing. Oh, jeez. I don't like how precarious this is. That's okay, as long as everyone's still up. Let's chain attack again and finish this. I don't think it really matters what I do. As long as I don't completely bungle this. the break. If I can game this a little bit here. Neither of these two should exceed. I uh, use you need to point limit. And complete with you now. We get a Bravo, two reactivations, plus some bonus uh, damage percentile. Oh, this is getting a little dicey though. I was hoping to get Eno again, but that was kind of high hopes. Uh, tie on means uni. I'm not gonna risk it. It's gonna be an awful low damage multiplier going into uh, Oboros Order though. Pretty sure we still got this with this attack, probably. No? That was a sliver of health left, though. <laughs> um, kick off with. Kick off with no one.
Uh, then our two healers. And just finish with whoever has the most TP, which is, in this case, you know. Ah! One point away from an amazing... Well... At the very least, we get to hang the DJ. That's the fight. Fuck out of here. That's almost dark in there. Black Blaze Dark? You've heard of him? I read about him in a textbook. An Agnian soldier from long ago who'd gone mad. Rather than take lives with his blade, <laughs> he bared his enemies with talon-like swords, bring them back, and add them to his collection. So that's who we're dealing with. <sighs> Is this your doing? Jay, what are you trying to pull? I can't crush these fools if you hold your strength back. Give it to me, you no good deadweight loser. Oh, he's gonna give it to you, all right. Wait, loser. Who else, kiddo? So give it up. Go on, give. Look, you made it, Yoren. You spread your true wings. So let me tell you, you're an, you're, you're more than this. I can be more. You're the last hero, aren't you? Either, either that, or you're just going to. The goal here. I knew it. Yoren's doing that. Stop He's it. forcing the Yoren. annihilation. If you don't stop, you're gonna die. In a way, Yoren's already dead. Cut it out. Jack, cut somebody in to live now. Move your ass. Do what I say. I will not. I've decided it's my choice. I will be different. Yoren! This is who I am. Isn't it? Noah. Uni. Lands. Nothing, idiot. Always putting others ahead of yourself, you moron. You should have just looked out for number one. 
But you were so scary, I didn't really feel like I had that option. I suppose. I'm sorry, Euron. Maybe... If we meet again. Yeah. And next time, we will win. And now the problem remains. Damage has been done. That was... Yarn. Yeah, sure was. I swear, he hadn't changed one bit. But this... This isn't okay. People shouldn't have to make such heartbreaking choices. Yeah. That's exactly why we gotta move forward. Yeah, well... What do we do? The Queen's... She's gone now. What do we do? What can we even do? This was supposed to be how we take back our world. I'm so sorry. I knew I was half Mobius. I should have been more careful, but instead. Wow, 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 wow. Stuck me good, he did. Nia, as tough as ever, I see. Things that have been a sight twist. What? What? It's like in real life. It is possible to be completely impaled from one end to the other, and no vital organs get hit, and you just live through it. Oh, you must be. Impossible. I saw it. I saw her being stabbed directly through the heart. And all that blood everywhere. But now, now she's alive. Alive and kicking. Yeah. You are. My name is Nia, and I am the Queen of Agnes, one wing of Ionios. Okay, I didn't expect there to be a chapter seven, but guess what we're starting next time? <laughs> Gotta note this all down. All right. Well, it was um, a little over time, but uh, we have made it to the end of today's stream. Ah, uh, really wondering at this point.
who the Queen of Kevis is. Because, like I said, also, why is the chat all the way in the corner like that? Whatever. Um, that's going to have to do for now. I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm really wondering who the Queen of Kevis is, because considering, like I said, that uh, Nia is from uh, Xenoblade 2, you know what, this is kind of bothering me. Let's, uh, let's see what I can do about this. Why are you down there? Good enough, whatever. I'll fix it later. Um, but yeah, Nia's from the second game. I wonder if the Queen of uh, of Kevis is going to be someone from the first game. And if it is, I probably already know who it is. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for today. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you to uh, Tyrion and Jewel for hanging out. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the uh, Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some archipelago shenanigans as we always do. Next stream after that is going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is the regular long run stream. We're going to play some more of Spyro Reignited starting on Spyro 2. And uh, that takes us around the week, round the wheel to our next extra long run stream next uh, Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. We're going to start chapter 7. Is it the last chapter? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and also over on Picardo, uh, picardo.tv slash Uh I have been doing the uh, Advent of Code, uh, going to be doing that pretty much every day until the 24th, unless, uh, un until the 25th rather, uh, unless at some point I just get so stuck that I decide I've had enough. Um, and I realized that those those streams are not on a schedule. They can be pretty much any time, is whenever I have the time to fit it in. Uh, so that's kind of a big thing. So if you're not there, I don't really blame you. <laughs> but if you can make it and hang out, um, watch me kind of puzzle through the puzzles. Um, you are more than welcome to do so. Anyway. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.